through the Suez Canal, through the Red Sea. That is where the uh, frankincense and myrrh, the aromatic uh, frankincense, travels to the rest of the world. Who knows if the uh, generations of millions of years ago, thousands of years ago, used the frankincense and myrrh from Somaliland in the temples and the mosques and the churches and the ceremonial halls in the world for thousands of years. We are very proud that we in Somaliland have been friends with Saudi Arabia for hundreds of years. Well before petrol was found in Saudi Arabia, Somaliland was a friend of the people of Saudi Arabia. When they had problems, when they had drought, when they had no food, there were always the sheep from Somaliland to go on dows and to go to our brothers in Saudi Arabia. We are proud of our friendship with our Arab brothers everywhere. I also would like to recall that across the Arabian, the, the Gulf of Aden, on the other side, there was the uh, um, pro Aden Protectorate. There was a British garrison in the Aden Protectorate. And Somaliland was the breadbasket for the British garrison in Aden during the First World War, during the Second World War. I know that because my grandfather, Ismail Gadade, was a big merchant who had the contract to supply the garrison I remember my grandfather, who had the contract to supply the garrison in Aden with potable water, because Aden had no potable water at that time, to supply the garrison with animals each month, to supply the garrison with fresh fruits. Somaliland was using that port of Berbera to carry those goods. Our people fought alongside the Allies. Our sons died in the war to protect human rights, human freedoms, to fight oppression and injustice. While our sons were fighting for justice, there were others who were putting innocent women and children into concentration camps and sending them to gas chambers. I'm proud that Somaliland has always been on the good side. Today, on the 14th of July, 2019, there is a ship on the high seas outside of the port of Jeddah that is carrying 20,000 heads of sheep, live animals. July is a very hot month. The holes that carry those animals from the port of Berbera to the port of Jeddah do not have air conditioning. Those animals have little food have just sufficient food to carry them from the port of Berbera to the port of Jeddah, a distance of overnight travel. But those 20,000 animals are there in the middle of nowhere in the high seas. And any animal lover like me thinks that this is cruelty to animals. 
this should not be done. Animals should have been left on the dry land and the port of our country, Somaliland. They should not have been put on a ship. They should not have been on a ship that has a contract, that has had a contract to deliver animals to the pilgrims in Mecca and Medina in the pilgrimage that is due in a few weeks, in a few couple of months. I would also like to mention that these animals were going to be food for the pilgrims, the two or nearly three million pilgrims who, like me, go to Mecca and Medina to fulfill their obligation as Muslims. Those pilgrims are going to be without those animals that for years and centuries they have had. The black-headed sheep of Somaliland is well known. Three million pilgrims have been denied their animals, their food. We in Somaliland are not hungry. We have millions of animals. And when those animals have been denied access to be offloaded from the ship because some warlord, some mafia agent wanted a cut, wanted a bribe to allow those animals off the ship, the world should say no. Terrorists are not going to have an impact on this. We have the goods, we have the animals. We can sell them to anybody. There are many markets for the animals of Somaliland. They do not require permission from a terrorist in Somalia. That government in Somalia who thinks of itself as a government will not be able to stop the export of goods, whether live animals or others, from the ports of Somaliland. And I would like the world who believes in justice, who believes in free trade, who believes in democracy, who believes in the protection of animals.